Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Takach and I'm a Boys and Girls Club volunteer. So today, I'm going to show you guys the elephant toothpaste reaction. It is my favorite reaction of all time and I hope you really like it. For this reaction, I will be using hydrogen peroxide, which is a chemical, yeast, food coloring, and a soap. I first mix the hydrogen peroxide, food coloring, and dish soap together in these bottles, and then I pour in yeast with warm water all at once using a funnel. Pretty cool, right? So let's see what's going on here. If you're wondering why the middle reaction was a little slower than the other two, the one in the soda bottle with the blue dye, that's a really good question. It's because the top of that bottle is really, really narrow, and that makes it difficult for the reaction to go through the bottle, which is why it was a lot slower. I even had to squeeze the bottle so it would actually go through the top. Uh, my favorite, of course, was the huge beaker. That was one straight long tube, so it's easy for the reaction to shoot up all the way to the top. I also want to explain to you what's going on with the reaction itself. The chemical hydrogen peroxide is the base of the reaction. This chemical turns into water and oxygen, which is the air you breathe. What makes hydrogen peroxide turn into water and oxygen? That would be yeast. Yeast is the catalyst of the reaction, which is a fancy way of saying that without the yeast, it would take a very long time for this chemical to turn into water and oxygen. There is something in the yeast that breaks down the chemical into water and oxygen very quickly. So when you add it, you get elephant toothpaste, which is the oxygen shooting out of the container with the soap and the water. Well, that's it. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed watching that demonstration. I mean, I really love it. And I'll see everyone next time. Thanks. Bye.